Let me tell you three stories today. The first one is about Hans, who works at a mine where they use lots of toxic cyanide to extract gold. If that toxic cyanide is not properly monitored, it will poison the water that you and I drink. More than 95% of the annual global gold production is performed using cyanide, and the mining and similar industries consume more than 4 million tons of cyanide each year. Hadisa, a farmer in rural Nigeria, just harvested cassava, which is like a potato and staple food for over 600 million people in the world. Cassava contains high and harmful levels of cyanide, and if it's not tested and properly treated, it will poison those who eat it. The Huber family just got rescued from their burning house and rushed to hospital. But there, the doctors cannot safely establish if they've been poisoned by cyanide through smoke inhalation. 100 milligrams of cyanide are enough to kill an adult. And in all of these cases, if cyanide testing was easy, fast and simple, these cyanide problems could be eliminated. To solve this issue, once and for all, we have created the Cyano Kit at the University of Zurich. Our test kit allows Hans, Hadisa, the Huber family and everyone else in need to detect toxic cyanide in any setting in a fast and simple way. Our technology will improve food safety, environmental protection, and save the lives of countless fire victims. But see for yourself. You just take up your sample, you want to test for cyanide with the syringe provided, you connect it to the cyanokit sensor, and you simply press it through. And think of it like a pregnancy test which changes color. Here, the color change is immediately from red to violet if cyanide is detected. This works for most liquid samples, including blood. But what really drives me, what really motivates me, is the fact that no one else took on the challenge to change these bad and outdated detection methods for cyanide in the past 50 years. I took on the challenge because I do not only like to challenge myself, but above all, the status quo. In my free time, I enjoy offshore sailing here across the Atlantic, and I'm fascinated by tempting the unknown and see opportunities where others don't. And for these reasons, I feel a strong sense of responsibility to bring this technology out of the lab and to make it available to every single person who needs it and to end sun intoxications once and for all. Thank you.